now is that time to prepare yourself. Now is that time to stand firm. Now is that time to stretch your faith. Does that make any sense? Amen. Yeah, amen is not good enough. Amen. 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 It says, what second John 1, 8? Look to yourself. That, that we, we lose, lose not, not those, those things, things which we have wrought. Lose but not those words, those, those guaranteed promises that have been given to you. Lose them not. When you are faced with a problem, lose not. Don't be moved by what you see, but stand on the promises of God. Oh, I cannot be moved. Nothing can move me. Why? Nothing, sir. I believe Nothing. every man is a liar. Hey. But God does not have the ability to tell lies. Amen. Look to yourself. He says in our verses, 2 John 1, 8, he says, look to yourself that you focus on the things that matter. Don't focus on the things of the world. Focus on the things that matter. Or else he says that you suddenly lose your full reward before and when Jesus returns. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. We live in the days of the strange acts of God. Strange. He said in the end time, there will be a world transfer. Did you hear that or not? Yes, sir. God, they are looking at me. I think this is how you, this is how you continue to suffer. No, sir. Say the world of the Gentiles shall be given to? They don't even remember. Those are promises you need, you need to invoke daily. Lord, you said the world of the Gentiles shall be given. That's what they call miracle money. That is what they call miracle money. Amen. Where a billionaire comes down to your level, sir, to change your story. We are seeing that already. Oh. Amen. Can you tap into it? I tap, sir. And I'm talking millions. We are seeing that already. Yes. We are in the days of the strange acts of God, but it will take your faith to tap into that realm. Amen. Don't just do church doesn't work. Miracle money is real. Say all you like. It is. It really? is real. You receive certificates here. Mir who, who releases miracle money? Angels. Angels. You receive certificates here. Did not go to that school at all. They don't. She doesn't know that school. Never been to that school. She received not one, two. One came today. After a few months, another one came just to prove that God does not make mistakes. What the devil is doing is shift, is trying to kill our faith in Christ. Yes, sir. God can do exceedingly abundantly, oh, far yes. beyond what you can ever think. Really? Me, okay, really? house is all paid for, all paid for, Amen. all paid for, Amen. all paid for, all, all. Look at it. You care, yeah, you care, don't you? You must enter that realm. If all you've ever had in your life is what you work for, then truly you have no entire realm. Amen. A realm of uncommon favor. Yes, sir. Even you now, you're shocked. <laughs> I've told you in the coming weeks, or there will be testimonies we'll give you here that will blow your mental fuse. Yes, sir. God is not a man. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why are people divided with everything? Oh, miracle money is not real. We are taking you to court because of miracle money. Killing their own prophets. Miracle money did not start with apostle. Cut this video, Minister Percy. Yes, sir. Miracle money did not start with apostle Johnson Suleiman. Today is like it's a service to resist money. You'll see money here. Yeah. You see people testify here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at this. First Corinthians 1.10. Quickly, let's look. First Corinthians 1.10. Let me defend this quickly and then we carry on to Matthew 24. We'll do it for 10 minutes and there we go. First Corinthians 1 10. It says, What? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Why is there so, so much division in church? So the church is divided with everything, yet we serve a God that is a God of order. We are in the days of the strange acts of God. 
Things you cannot take the glory for. That's what will be happening. Yes, things you cannot account for. Miracle money is real. Read your Bible. There's too much calamity in church. That's why there, there's the even the people speaking in tongues in church don't understand certain dimensions of God. The spiritual things are carnality to the man in the flesh. They are saying, Apostle John Suleiman, come and show us those angels. You are in the flesh. How will you see angels? They say they came to court and see today they have not seen any angels in court. Sometimes it just makes you want to cry. How do you want to see angels in your fleshly nature? You don't first of all believe in them anyway. You must know how to dispatch your angels. Sir. There are things that only angels can bring to you. My angels go to the home office now. Whoever is in involved, I seize their sleep. Amen. Until they release it, they will not sleep. You are joking. My angels put my name in their head. Morning, afternoon, evening. If you want to say 12 times a day, just say what you want to say. They, they will not rest. Everywhere they go. Pastor David. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Let's see if they will not really go and release those documents. Shout hallelujah. When we do deliverance here, we do it by what? Angels are assigned to do deliverance. Shout hallelujah. Many people arguing miracle money are those in the flesh because they cannot understand the things of the spirit. I teach end time mystery and that's what we are teaching today. And we saw how in the last days, child of God, the wealth of the Gentiles, I've said already, will be transferred to you and I. We believe that you must walk to eat. We believe that. But we also believe that if God wants to reward your labor in his house, he does not reward you by your work. He rewards you supernaturally. He gives you a testimony that will blow the mind of those who have been mocking you. Someone here, they are mockers that have been talking against your work with God. Let a supernatural blessing come to you right now that will shut their mouths in the name of Jesus. Let a supernatural healing come to you that will shut their mouth in the name of Jesus. I don't like that amen at all. Isaiah 65, quickly. Isaiah 65, what does it say? Isaiah 65, quickly. Isaiah 65, it says, well, let's read together. Then thou shalt see and flow together and the heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The what? The abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. I remember a lot of people came here maybe two or three and I said, I see your money in the sea. It doesn't even make sense. Some of us looking at me now, you are millionaires. But a marine, a marine somewhere has taken your money somewhere. Today, they release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't like that. Amen at all. Amen. I don't like that. Amen at all. Amen. I can give you an example from here. I've told you an example of someone who had a hundred thousand. We've seen about two hundred thousand years supernaturally. Super what? Naturally, not deserved. Supernaturally. That's miracle money. When your debts are repaid, it's miracle money. The council forgot you for about four years. Money that they had to give you. After four years, suddenly, after a prayer, what happened? They gave it back. What happened? That's supernatural money. Where you have been forgotten, suddenly they remember you. Supernatural money. Miracle money is real. I, I've come to a conclusion that even your tithe is miracle money. Because it says, I'll rebuke the devil for your sake. So why others are spending on one thing 10 times? You're you are just cruising with your one car. No expenditure. Yes. When I was not a tither, I would, my car almost every week has a problem. Sometimes I spend 300, 300 pounds just to fix it. I had accident every week, almost every week. Who was eating? The eater tithe was eating. But when you start operating in that realm, what happened? That money is reserved for you. You can use it to buy goodies. You can use it to do some other things. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible also says in Matthew 17, 27, Jesus telling Peter that go and cast what? Your net and then you hook what? A fish. fish. 
In the fish, there's money. Take the money. What was money doing in the mouth of a fish? Miracle money, sir. What was money doing in the mouth of a fish? Take that money and go and pay a tax. Anywhere your money is hanging, tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. You saw angels here on Sunday. Those same angels, let them pick up your money and give it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't like that amen at all. Amen. Sit down, please. Please, let's just be guided. Let's just be led. Maybe this is what the Lord wants us to do today. Miracle money can be debts repaid. I remember a story of a girl who came here. Her name is Karen. And she had a debtor who owed her thousands of pounds. And he's forgotten more than seven years. Forgotten. Then suddenly after a prayer, the guy did not communicate with her two days after a thing. The guy would not communicate with her. There was just a transfer. Say Alex. There was just a... You remember, right? There was just a transfer. You are here, people owe you money. After now, an angel will appear to them. Amen. And they will pay you double for your trouble. Amen. They will pay you double for your trouble. Amen. They will pay you double for your trouble. Amen. I received that for myself as well in the name of Jesus. Amen. We've had so many testimonies of HMRC. People were not expecting a check. Suddenly, go and check those testimonies online. Stanley is even one of them. He came here and said, there's a hole in your hand. I prayed, we put oil in his hand, and then HMRC sent him money. I've received money from HMRC. I, they, they don't owe me any money. It's not like I've overpaid tax. That is supernatural money. Sometimes God does that to reward you, to Amen. comfort you, to tell you I have not forgotten you. I have not forgotten your level of love. Amen. Someone here you will remember suddenly in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you will remember suddenly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Miracle money is not an opinion. It has been proven here. Sit down, please. It has been proven here again and again and again. And I've tested of it myself. And I, I want to prove it again tonight by all these prayers we are praying now. I talk about a guy who came here and received Jerry thousands of pounds. He received miracle money and suddenly from nowhere. And he was broke, brokers, brokers. Shout hallelujah. Someone here, many of us are said in your job, about three of us are said in your job, they'll keep paying you after even you stop the job. And it's happened to many of us here. That is supernatural money. That's miracle money. Money you did not work for. Again, if all you've ever had as a child of God is what you've worked for, then you really not in, enjoy favor. But this is a new beginning for you. Favor will be the order of the day for you in the name of Jesus. I say favor will be the order of the day for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Favor will be the order of the day for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2 Timothy 2.13, he says what? Quickly. 2 Timothy 2.13, he says what? If we believe not, that's a problem. Many of us don't believe. Yet, he, whether you believe or not, God remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's right. He cannot deny himself. Elijah said by this time tomorrow, there was famine in the land for three and a half years. Do you know what you're talking about? The ground was dry. Nothing could grow in that land. But by this time tomorrow, a man said there will be so much food. Are you joking? Where would you come from? And it happened exactly like that. That is supernatural acts of God. You can't remain in the same realm where you are. Where everything is natural. Stretch your hands. Stand up on your feet. Stretch those hands here. Let me pray. For those who believe. Stretch your hands on this altar. Thank you, stretch your hands on this altar. I'm releasing supernatural money now by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I'm led to do this. On Sunday you saw the angel. Whenever a man of God said supernatural money angels of money are released that's what is happening now i see angels going around dispatching money in the hands of certain people you online do the same there's no distance in the realm of the spirit angels of money at word of fire ministry be activated all over their lives now i command a release of supernatural money in the name of jesus Amen. i command a release of supernatural money into their bank accounts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Into their wallet in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
into their pocket in the name of Jesus. Through checks in the name of Jesus. Let supernatural money appear right now in the account in the name of Jesus. I command miracle money now in the name of Jesus. Father, prove it right now. In Jesus' name we have prayed.